Greetings. This is the Elder Blacklight. Coming to you uh, once again. To enlighten you into a new type of thinking. Through my 72 years of experience, experiencing the life on this planet that they now call Earth in the wilderness of, wilderness of North America, I come to you because I'm on a mission to save you from uh, the wrath of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. And for a little over 400 years, you have been struggling in a war with our natural enemy, which a lot of you don't want to admit. For various reasons. Most of you have accepted this way of living, this culture of violence, a non-peaceful existence. I was on the expressway coming from a, a gig that I did. And it was a snowstorm. And the people were driving crazy, you know. They were tailgating and driving at speeds too fast for that type of weather. And when I got a little ways, almost close to home, I was about maybe 10 minutes away from the house and it was a backup and I stayed in that position in that same spot for about an hour and as I gradually inched my way up closer and closer towards the house I saw that tow trucks about three or four tow trucks it went on the shoulder of the road and I seen a police car. And my exit was coming up in about maybe a mile, half a mile. But I stayed in that position and as I creeped my way up, I seen a uh, multiple accidents on both sides of the expressway finally at, right at my exit they had blocked the rest of the freeway off I spent about an hour 10 minutes away from the house spending an hour in that same spot because people, the way people drive, you know, I, look, I know they're young. You can see old people don't, you know, around my age, you know, we be creeping, man, because we didn't learn that lesson. You know, we didn't learn that lesson. You know, either we almost got into an accident or a lot of us got into an accident. And some of, some of us just, you know, like that some of us vision is messed up but we want to we want to get we old and we want to get older but the young people don't have no sense 
of getting old nowadays. They don't want to get old. I'm like Miles Mabley, man. I'm gonna ugly. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna ugly my way. I'm gonna ugly away. <laughs> I ain't gonna die. I'm gonna ugly away. But uh, that's what's happening now, man. Uh, in this now generation, 2019, uh, so many of us are being scammed and. We have diverted our attention and focusing on these smoke screens, being so gullible. And you need someone to give you a, a guidance. You know, it don't matter about uh, what set you belong to, if you're a Baptist or Catholic or whatever. Because the devil has infiltrated all those religions, Islam. Right now it's a war between Islam and America. And it's really, when you break it down, it's really a war against black and the Caucasian. Which has been going on for 6,000 years. But some people don't see it like that. But the reason why I see it like that, because it's, uh, Islam is the nature of the black man, the true nature. And the nature of the Caucasian is an adversary to the nature of the black man, which is Islam. He's very argumentative. And his next move on the black man is to uh you already an established martial law. It's gonna be a military regime all over the planet. And He wants to uh, send us to concentration camps if we don't cooperate, if we resist. So while he's uh, getting, putting all this into place, he's sending our own people against us. So when we join different organizations and give money to different people we call leaders we're serving two masters we're serving those that we think that's going to serve us our leaders and they might be oftentimes black and we're also serving the Caucasian the government of the America of the United States of America and why, why do I say that it's obvious because we give our leaders money and our leaders give it right back to our oppressor how do they do it buying luxurious homes and luxurious cars and clothes And they got to pay their they bills. They got to pay their car insurance. Which that the Caucasian owns that. He owns car insurance. He owns house insurance. He owns uh, property taxes. He owns uh, license plates. He owns the present system. He owns uh, the supermarket. In your neighborhood, when you when you once had supermarkets and everything, you don't have them no more. The Chaldeans and those who say they are Muslims were really not on them. Those who say they are Jews on it.
They own your houses. Most of you are paying to the banks or the mortgage company. They own that. And very few things do black people own or rent. Most of the things we do, we, we say we own, we rent. So now we got to work with just what we got right now. I'm going to shut this down, you know, because I don't want my uh, time to cut us off and come back with, with another one of DIY. Stands for do, <clears throat> do it yourself. Don't depend on nobody else. Black Light.